Hello viewers, this is Wag Daruna taking you through today's tutorial on differentiation. And in today's lesson, we are going to talk about differentiation from first principles. So from first principles, dy dx is given by the formula dy dx equal to limit as x tends small, small change in x tends to zero of small change in y, small change in x. Where small change in y is the small where this symbol is the small change in y and when x is incremented by small change in x. Alternatively, dy dx can also be given by the formula limit of small change in y x tends to zero of function in x plus small change in x minus function of x over small change in x. So we shall start with this problem. Differentiate x squared from first principles. So note that they have said first principles. So the first step is to let y be equal to that function which they want. Given and it is y equal to x squared. So let small change in y be this, big denoted by that, when x is incremented by small change in x. In this case, when you increment this by small change in y, this will also be incremented by small change in x, which is the step. So y plus small change in y will give you that. x plus small change in x will give you that. By the square, so you put a square there. So from this step, you have to recall that a plus b squared will give you a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And in that case, we shall use this to expand this. So when you expand this using this rule, we shall come up with x squared plus 2x small change in x plus small change in x squared. Decide to remain y plus small change in y. But we know that y is equal to x squared. So come and substitute where there is y, put the x squared, which is that. And from this line, you realize that this x squared and this x squared are the same. So you cancel them, you come up with this line. So from this line, we shall divide both sides by small change in x. If we divide both sides by small change in x, we shall come up with this step. Small change in y over small change in x equal to 2x small change in x plus small change in x squared everything over small change in x. From there we shall split the numerator so we shall get this over this plus this over that which is this step. And from there something is common here so small change in x is equal to is the same as this. So this will cancel to remain with 2x which is that. For this one the numerator is squared so one small change in x will cancel you remain with only one small change in x. Therefore, from this we shall get 2x plus small change in x being equal to small change in y, small change in x. But we know that the formula for dy dx is limit as a small change in x tends to 0 for small change in y, small change in x. So what does that mean? It means that small change in x tends to 0. So this one tends to 0, that's why you have put here 0. And in the end, you come up with 2x alone, which is that. Therefore, dy dx for x squared will be equal to this. Will be equal to 2x. That's how they differentiate from first principles. Now, in problem 1, the power was a whole number. What if the power is a fraction, like in problem 2? So, problem 2, they want us to differentiate x to power a half from first principles. So still we shall first let y to be equal to that expression which is x to power half. In this case x to power half is the same as square root of x which is that and therefore when you increment y by small change in y x will also be incremented by small change in x which is the step. But we know that y is equal to, small to root x therefore come and substitute root x plus small change in y will give you root square root of x plus small change in x. Now bring this one the other side, we'll come up with this line. In this line, we have the sides as the numerator. So we have to bring, we want to take them down and we shall do that by rationalizing. So multiply both sides by this plus that, which is this, up and down. So when you apply up and down, you shall come up with this step, which is when that is when you expand. For example, 
this multiplied by this it will be a difference of two squares difference of two squares means this squared will give you this and this squared will give you that for this one one times this we shall get this which is that from there we shall realize that x minus x can cancel and remain with a small change in x alone which is that then from here, when you take this one on the other side, you will come up with small change in x, y small change in x, equal to 1 over square root of x plus small change in x plus root of x. From there, we shall come up with our formula that dy dx is equal to the limit as small change in x tends to 0 for small change in y small change in x. So small change in y small change in x is here. Come and substitute it to be there. Now, as this tends to 0, it means this will be 0. So, in the end, we shall come up with x plus 0 here and plus root x, which is that. So, in this case, this becomes root x plus root x to give you 2 root x, which is that. Numerator is 1, so the answer will be 1 over 2 root x. You can also express it as a negative index as a half x power negative half. So that is how they differentiate from first principles. And I believe with that knowledge you will be able to try out these questions. So problem one, they wanted to differentiate x cubed from first principles. So do the, try it out and the answer will be 3x squared. Problem two, they also want you to differentiate y equal to square root of 2x plus 1 from first principles. And try, you should also try it out and aim at getting the answer as 1 over root of 2x plus 1. Problem 3, they wanted to differentiate y equal to x minus 2, everything raised to the power negative a half from first principles. You also try it out and the answer should be negative a half in brackets x minus 2 raised to the power negative 3 over 2. And lastly, problem 4, they want to differentiate x over x squared minus 1 from first principles. So you should also try it out and aim at getting negative open brackets 1 plus x squared everything over x squared minus 1 everything squared. So that has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel Roa e-learning platform.